Good night, Harry. Oh, good night. Good night, love. You lost some it? No, no. Get a bad eye looking through keyholes, you know. Oh, morning. Well, I never expected I'd see anything like that happening in Coronation Street. Well, in a minute, I'm just making up an order. Oh, you don't need to worry yourself. I've got something to talk about. What didn't you expect to see, Ina? A certain gentleman, if that's the right word for him, going into the house of a certain lady. If I'm correct, that's not the right word for her. Hello, Doris. Hello. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Morning. Mrs. Longer. Hello, Esther. And you say you saw him yourself? As plain as I see you. Oh, Esther, you'll be interested in what I'm going to say. Oh, yes. I want a tin of tomatoes. Oh, well, of course, if you're more interested in a tin of tomatoes than in what's going on in your own street, I'll say no more. Well, I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry, Mrs. Sharples. Well, you don't usually go before the 22 buzzer and don't say you do, because I've seen you myself in the old nice many a time. Unless you're going somewhere before, I know you. <laughs> no, not really. Oh, well, then you can hear what I've got to say. And you say he took her round the back? I never thought I'd see it. Mind you, I've seen some surprise packages of men going to that house at night in peacetime and in wartime, but I never thought I'd see Harry Hewitt. Well, which house is that? Well, not the workhouse, anyway. You know, some folk, well, you've finished the story proper. Doing all right? You told us Harry went into a house. And it's taken me ten minutes to do that. It went Elsie Tanner's. Well, what about it? Well, it was chucking out town, that's what about it. They went out of the rover together. Well, that proves nothing. Well, two people leave the, the, the rover at chucking out time, and then they're seen looking through a letterbox, looking to see what they're, whether they're Dennis in the house. It might prove not to you, but to me, it's as clear as a book. Hi, I'm checking around the back and all. There's your soap, love. Oh, Tyler, love. Sit down. Goodbye, Mrs. Sharper. Oh, are you going tonight? Where? Well, haven't you had the circular from Frank Barlow? Should I have? Oh. Oh, well, you can have mine. Sit down. Sit down, Flurry. Sit down. She's not very interested in how the other half lives, is she? So I tell you that, are you it, Nelsie? Here, have you seen this? What is it? It's a meeting about demolition. Oh, yes, I've got one. Well, I didn't. Didn't you? No, I should like to know why. I've lived in Coronation Street as long as most, and if there's a meeting about out, I should have been told about it. Well, perhaps I didn't think it was fair to ask you, with you only being the caretaker and the rest of us residents. If they'd have asked you, they'd have asked, have asked all the girls from the raincoat factory, wouldn't they? Well, you can say what you like, but it's a waste of good breath holding a meeting about whether or not they pulled down Coronation Street. Without you, you mean? I mean, not as sort. I mean, it's a waste of time as far as I'm concerned, because they won't pull my side of the street down. Oh, why is that, then? Because the factory's there, that's why. Well, what's that got to do with it? What's that got to do with it? Well, the man that owns the factory's on the council, that's why. Ah, she's right there. And of course, you'll get no protection. And if you think you're going to get it from that Barlow meeting, you've got another thing coming, and I'll take a quarter of mint lumps. <laughs> 